there's one person regularly yeah. parking on them on the double yellow. On the, double yellow. On the streets of Ashfield, oh, really? where he's Please from, Jason yeah, no Zadrozny no is well known. He was about to fight the 2015 general election when he got a knock on the door. About 20 officers who burst into my house and took over the house immediately, um, held me and took my phones and everything off me so I couldn't send messages. So it was just a very surreal experience, really horrible, really horrible. The allegations from one man he says he's never met took him to a desperate place at times, but he campaigned on. I've had some dark days with it and anyone that was ever so slightly weaker than me would, would genuinely find themselves under a bus. I've had some really close calls with depression and, and uh, you know, mental health issues because of this. So I think we've got to be very careful how we treat it. If I had not got my support network around me, I just wouldn't be here now. He's led the Ashfield Independents, largely made up of former Liberal Democrats, to local election success, even with the accusations hanging over him. He says he won't let what has happened go unanswered. I've had nothing from the police. They just walked away with a smile. I intend obviously to seek legal redress and um, see what they say once they're in the dock. We put the claims to the Office of Nottinghamshire's Police and Crime Commissioner Paddy Tipping. They issued a one-line statement to the effect that this is an entirely operational matter and therefore one for the Chief Constable. The court case may be over for Jason Zadrozny, but his legal battle will continue.